This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what you see in front of you is a package that I recently received from Julian and Tobias in Germany. There's lots of really great stuff here, a few truly unique items, so let me take you through everything that was in there. First, they were nice enough to forward along some 3D printed items from Tom. He goes by Red Cat Imaging on YouTube. And let's see, we have some pinning tools, a pinning shoe here. And then we have a follower that's designed to work with it. It has a little groove in it. And also a tool for pinning from the front of a, of a Euro profile cylinder. It also works with this pinning shoe. And I have to say, for being 3D printed, these are actually really strong and sturdy. I have no doubt these will work very well. Next, we have what I believe to be a holder for Euro profile cylinders, something to make it a little bit easier to hold them in your hand and pick. And then finally, we have this really cool little pocket lock pick. And what you do is flip this little piece up, slide the hook out the front, then lock it in place. And then we have a, a little tension tool in the back. And, and again, like everything else here, these are actually very, very strong. I'm surprised that they turned out quite so well. So let me push all of this stuff aside, and then I will show you all of the great stuff from Julian and Tobias. First, we have two more picks here, and these have great full tank construction. Looks like they're riveted in probably with brass there, and then stained wood handles. Um, and beautiful finish on both of these. Absolutely great picks. Looking forward to trying these out. Then we have Julian and Tobias's famous triple challenge lock. And what they did was take parts of three Euro profile cylinders, put them together in acrylic, and made it into three challenge locks with one, two, and three dots on the faces. Presumably they get harder as you pick through it. I'll bring this one to you pretty soon. Next, we have an Avis XP1. Now, I've picked something similar to this. That's the Chisa SP. Um, and I have to say, this one is harder. Take a look at this keyway. I always knew the XP1 and the Chisa SP were similar, but I didn't realize how much tighter this XP1 is. Even better, Julian and Tobias pinned up different sides of this differently. We have some relatively easy bidding on this side, and then we have some challenging bidding over here. Three really low cuts followed by a couple of higher ones. So I'm looking forward to trying both sides of this one out. Next, we have a couple of challenge locks here, and I cringe when I see challenge locks now because right now I am getting a backup of them. You guys are doing an awesome job with challenge locks, and I've been seeing quite a few recently that are just kicking my butt. These are themed the Four Horsemen, and they're the Four Horsemen from the book Good Omens, which means we remove pestilence and we replace it with pollution. I wasn't sure what was up with that. I actually looked it up, and uh, apparently in this book, Pestilence retired after they invented penicillin. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to trying these out. We have a, a Master Lock 570 with the retaining pin drilled out so they could get to that center. And we have a little Abus half cylinder here. We have a, a Dom. IX-10 challenge lock. I've never seen anyone turn one of these into a challenge lock. And then we have a Dom System S challenge lock. That one is Famine. Next, they forwarded along to me a lock that was built by Daniel. And this one is similar to the triple challenge lock. However, this is an experiment on keying with driver pins. And I'll devote a whole video to this. Uh, particularly after I find a blank. I think this is a Lockwood keyway, and I want to try a couple of combination keys to see if we can have some fun with this, with this triple lobed lock. So you'll be seeing more of this pretty soon. And then finally, a lock that I have been looking for for a while, a card lock. And these things are really cool 
because it is a dimple lock where the key is actually punched into a card. And we have a large one and a small one here. And what you do is slide it into this little groove on the side, press it in, and it pops open. And presumably you can either carry something like this on your wallet, on a keychain, or if you wanted to do a little bit of work, you could probably just punch those holes into one of your credit cards and it would work as the key as well. So this is the one we are going to pick open. We're already five minutes and 30 seconds into this video, so we need to do a fast lock. And it turns out this one is relatively easy to pick. Let's see if I can give you a zoom in here on that little card slot. You can see a small silver tab right there. That is what we are going to tension. I'm going to push a tension wrench in from the side and press that tab over to the left. Then I don't think you can see it. Maybe if I put something behind it, you'll be able to see it a little easier. Maybe you can barely make out we have those dimple pins in there. There's two of them. And what I'll have to do is reach in with a pick and press them down until they click. So let's see what we can do with this guy. I'm pressing down on this tension tool. That's right on the little silver tab there. Now let's see if we can pick this guy open. Okay, tried the first, the second on the front. Now let's go in here and the first one is binding. I think I got him down. Maybe got something out of the second one and we just open this lock up. So I must have set those first two without even knowing it. But as you can see, not a particularly hard lock to open up, but certainly a pretty cool one and one that probably is going to foil most people just because they're not quite sure how to approach it. So Julian, Tobias, Tom, and Daniel, thank you for all of this great stuff. You can look forward to seeing more of it in future videos. To everyone else, if you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.